And the market is still near an all-time high. I mean, we've had a bit of a sell-off because of these trade-related things. But, um, you know, this wasn't a huge sell-off. There are still stocks that I think are undervalued and worth, sell, uh, worth buying. Um, there are a number of things that have sold off more than others. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, when you look at the fundamentals, the economy is doing very well. The employment market is very good. There's virtually no inflation to speak of. Mm -hmm. And interest rates are extremely low. So I think this is a very good time to remain invested. Um, we're seeing a sell-off simply related to the China deal. Um, you know, we could find, find all of a sudden wake up one day and we see that a deal is finalized and the market suddenly rallies. Exactly. So, Paul, are you trying to game out those odds at this point? Um, you know, are Chinese stocks going to look attractive? I, it's, a hard, listen, it's a hard question to even ask. I, I guess tell us how the smart minds really think about where the global opportunities are right now. Well, we've, we've been overweight in emerging markets since last September. It, it's a position that served our clients well in the latter part of last year. We remain so. We do think a deal is very likely still, notwithstanding the headlines and the conflicting headlines for this week. But, but in March, we did take our position on the S&P 500 back to neutral because, frankly, we don't see such strong in, in fundamentals in the economy as the market is showing. You know, it's been 88 days since the last 3% correction or pullback in this market, that's the second longest in this expansion since 2009. So we think the market's out over its skis a little bit. We would like to see a little bit more of a pullback before we start putting okay. some of that cash back to work. Vahan, you said there are some places you would buy and, and maybe that sold, have sold off too much. Some examples? Well, one, one area that I really like um, is energy. I mean, we've seen a, a huge rally in oil prices, but the energy-related stocks haven't kept up. Um, one way to play that is simply with an ETF like the XLE. Um, but there is an energy stock that I really like, uh, Murphy Oil. We did see a bit of a sell-off in that the last few days. It's a company that has quite a bit of exposure in the Eagle Ford area, not much exposure overseas, and I think a stock like that could suddenly rally. Do you have to take a, an opinion on what's happening with Iran now, saying it's going to kind of move forward with some enrichment or if there's a I guess if you're exposed to energy at least that's maybe some upside you know potential for you in the price there but you know do you, is that something that really factors in for you or no not so much because regardless of what happens with Iran I do expect oil prices to remain firm and as, lo as long as oil prices are at current levels or even higher a company like Murphy is going to generate a lot of profits. And Paul, I'm reminded of what Warren Buffett said over the weekend about that, you know, if you'd asked him a few years ago, you know, said the U.S. is at full employment, the budget deficits are 5 percent and growing, and the long bonds at 3 percent, he'd say no way. And it, that having that long bond at 3 percent makes stocks extremely cheap at these levels, even with everything you've said about the rally. Ironically, since then, that long bond fell to about 285. So, are all of these concerns and day-to-day tensions actually creating a bigger long-term opportunity for U.S. equities? Yes, longer term, let's say over the next 12 months, we do think stocks will move higher from here, including large cap stocks. And we also like energy. We also like tech and consumer discretionary. We like industrials, which haven't done well this week with the trade talk. And we still like financials, too. That might be a place to look for some value. Anything you don't like? Well, we don't like the rate-sensitive stuff. So the, the REITs and the utilities, we don't like those. Uh, we, uh, we recently turned negative on materials also.